Hiya Gavin, lovely to meet up with you at the range yesterday and start to do some work on your game. If we take a quick look at where we were to start off with, we can see that we're at set up, we're quite open. The arms were working up, separating from the body. Very upright gold swing, right knee maintaining, maintaining its flex. When we look at it from face on, what we see is as the club goes back, because the arms are working up, and the right knee is maintaining its flex. We are unable to stay on the ball. You can see there with the silhouette how much we move off that golf ball during the backswing. When we move off the golf ball as much as that during the backswing, we, we explain what the effect was on the low point of the golf swing. So we run the risk of hitting the ground behind the golf ball. Uh, and also the consequent effect on the path of the club. Whenever we hit behind the ball, that means we're going to be hitting up as we get to the golf ball by the time we're hitting up we're also swinging across and that's going to result in a lot of pulls pull hooks and slices so we take a little look at what we're trying to achieve we're going to try first of all the consistent difference between good and bad players is their ability to strike the same point in front of the ball time after time in order to help you do that it's much easier if everything stays fixed you can see here with charlie Wee, the weights on the left that set up there's no movement off the golf ball He's now got control over both his low point and the path of the golf club. So the big changes in your golf swing that we talked about was first of all, let the right leg straighten. The goal is to hit the ground in front of the golf ball. So that's the over the overlying fact, the, the overlying piece that we're trying to achieve time after time. We're going to let the right leg straighten and we're going to work the arms in more. And you can see when you do that, you arrive in a much better top of the backswing position the hips have been able to turn and as a result the left shoulder has been able to trace a more downward path keeping you much more on top of the golf ball so we take a little look at the top of the backswing at the end of the lesson compared to the top of the backswing at the start of the lesson there's a big difference there in the overall control of the center of the golf swing so you can see i'll just run this one through for you again this is thinking in terms of weight forward, left shoulder down, arms coming in and allowing the trail leg to straighten. You can see there that your hips have turned much more if we look at the, at the side bend or the extension in the hips. See how the hips now are on a tilted angle rather than a level angle. The centre of the golf swing also, the centre of the shoulder turn is much more on top of the golf ball as opposed to over towards the right instep really good session uh, great control of the golf ball towards the end of it and i hope your round in jersey goes well today good luck and look forward to working with you again soon